Welcome, 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 welcome back to Sports Talk with Kendrick. It's been a long time. It's been a long time, but I'm back. And in this video, I'll be going down the NBA playoffs. First round begins tonight, and I'm going to pretty much just predict who I think will ultimately win the championship and going over uh, the first round matchups, semis, and so forth. Um, I haven't really been watching uh, the eight games during the bubble. Uh, I've been pretty busy, but just going down the analysis of the matchups and how the teams match up on paper and just my personal opinion on who I think will win and ultimately like I said, win that championship. So, starting with the East, you got the Milwaukee Bucks, Toronto Raptors, Boston Celtics, Pacers, Heat, Philly, and the Orlando Magic. The Bucks against the Orlando Magic. Most people will probably say, "Okay, Bucks is going to sweep them." But I, I feel like Orlando's going to get sneak one win in, possibly with a late game shot, or possibly Milwaukee missing uh, a clutch free throw, something. I, I feel like Orlando's going to sneak one win in here, but obviously Milwaukee's going to win ultimately. But um, yeah, they're going to move. Milwaukee's going to move on against either Pacers or the Heat. Now this matchup is mostly talked about because of the, the, the animosity if you will of TJ Warren and Jimmy Butler the, the, the defensive prowess that is Miami you know Kendrick Nunn and, and, and um, Duncan Robinson Bam uh, Kelly Olenek out there as well so I feel like well, Miami's going to ultimately win in like seven, maybe seven. Yeah, six or seven. I got him in seven, but uh, maybe six it could happen, but I got him in seven. But, um, yeah, man, we'll, we'll see. I feel like every single game in that series is going to go like literally down to, to the wire. Um, so that would be very interesting. Now, I got Milwaukee and Miami. That would be tough, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to give the edge to Milwaukee, however. Maybe in like six. Milwaukee in like six or something like that. Maybe even seven, I don't know. But um, we'll see. We'll see about that. Now, the most head-stretching series, in my opinion, is the three and six uh, matchup in the East. You got Boston and Philly. Now, Boston is a very great young team. You got Jason Tatum, Kimba back there as well, Marcus Smart. I want to believe in Philly. I want to believe in Philly. Ben is out, right? So, I made the decision that Philly is going to win in seven. Before I even found out, like I said, I've been really busy lately, so I didn't even realize or knew that, you know, Ben was out. Then when I found out, I was like, I don't want to change it. So I, I, I still feel like Philly is going to win in like seven games. You know, Joe and Beal in there, you know, um, I mean, Tobias Harris as well. So I'm sticking to my guns and Philly's going to win in seven. We'll see. Um, then they're going to move on and face either Toronto or Brooklyn. I got Toronto in six games. I just don't see this next team going anywhere without Kyrie, without KD, and DeAndre Jordan, Jared Allen. And I They're going to put up a fight. Like I said, they're going to get two games in there, team two wins. But ultimately, Toronto is just – they're just too good. Um, obviously, so 
Um, I got Philly and Toronto. And I feel like Toronto's going to edge them. And, like, maybe five, honestly. Like I said, without Ben, um, who's going to stop Kyle Lowry? He's, who's who's going to hold um, Pascal? Who's going to hold, you know, Marcus Shaw and all those guys? So, it's going to be tough. But um, I got Toronto and Bucks. I got the Toronto Raptors against the Bucks in the East Conference Finals. Now... That would be interesting to see because, like, obviously you got Giannis, right? So, at this point, I feel like other people need to step up. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got Brooke Lopez, Chris Middleton, Bledsoe, Dante, um, Kyle Korver, um, and Orsova. So, I'm I'm gonna say Bucks, cause I really like the Bucks, mostly because of Giannis. But um, that'd be tough. I wouldn't be surprised if Toronto edge them out, maybe in like six or seven. But I got Bucks in six though, and that would be the East champions. Now in the West, the most compelling and most interesting uh, series is the one and eight, Lakers against the Trailblazers. And I personally want the Trailblazers to win because I'm huge. I'm a huge. I'm a huge Carmelo Anthony fan, right? And I'm gonna do a video on him soon. So I want the Blazers to win in like six or seven. But I'm gonna. Add, I'm gonna. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna say the Lakers in six because there's no way they're gonna let LeBron win lose in the first round. There's no way. So. Uh, that's going to be an interesting series as well. Like I said, um, I, I just believe Lakers going to win that. You know, Blazers got dogs out there. They got dogs out there. You know, Dame, obviously. CJ, Melo, Nurkic coming back. Uh, Gary Trent coming off the bench. Uh, Herzonia. And Lakers mostly depend mostly on AD and Braun. However... You do have Kyle Kuzma, who's on and off on some nights, um, depending on the rhythm of the game. Avery Bradley's gone, so that defensive mindset is gone, like, as far as their guard play uh, on the wing as well. So, Lakers going to win. I, 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 just, I just feel like Lakers going to win. Uh, like I, I, want, I personally want the Trailblazers to win, but I don't think it's gonna happen. But um, yeah, that's the one eight, uh, the four five matchup, the Houston Rockets without Russell Westbrook versus the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now, before the season started, I said that the, I said I said nobody wants to believe nobody likes to believe what i have to say i said the thunder was going to surprise everybody with cp alexander steven allen was those guys i i I just knew cp with his defensive not his defensive but his leadership and his veteran status and just how cp who cp3 is I knew he was gonna rejuvenate these guys, these young guys, these young cats, and they was gonna do something. Not one, two, three C, but they were gonna make the playoffs. And here they are as the fifth seed, right? So now without Russ with Houston, I think them Thunder's gonna take it in like seven. I just I don't like how Houston plays. You know, with this small ball, just racking up, shooting threes, either shooting the three or going to the hole, get fouled, go to a free throw line, right? Like, that's, I don't like that. That's not how you win a championship. Defense with, defense with championships and just offense go comes along with it as well. So, I think all, Oklahoma City does win this. 
in seven games and goes on against the Lakers. Lakers winning that in like maybe like five, maybe six. Because LeBron James, right? AD. Um, I think. Tor- not Toronto, but. Thunder's bench is more. Is better. But. Just that offensive power of Braun and AD is when I overpowered them in the end. So, yeah, five and six. In five or six games, Lakers take that and go on. Move along to the Western Conference Finals. The 3 6 matchup. In the first round, got Denver against the Jazz. I got Denver in like possibly six, maybe five games. Yeah, five. Um, Jokic, that man right there is just crazy and massive. Um, on the on, in the post three point mid range, it's just you can't stop that guy. So. Um, then Mike Conley left the bubble. It's personal stuff, but um, without his leadership and just honestly, just just with Donovan Mitchell and I think Gobert is go player is Gobert playing? I don't I don't even know. Like that Jazz team is very iffy. You know what I'm saying? Like. uh with Joe Ingles, Jordan Clarkson. It's just a... They wishy-washy. Sometimes they, they're really good. Sometimes they're really not. So it's like... It's iffy. So that's why I say never in like five. And they'll move on. In my personal opinion, they'll move on against the Clippers. The Clippers face off against Luka Doncic led Mavericks this is going to be interesting outside of the Lakers Blazers that I'm mostly excited to see uh, mostly because of that Kawhi PG versus Luka thing and Pusingas as well so we'll see we'll see just like that um That defense, man. That um, LA is dangerous, really dangerous. So I'm gonna give the edge to the Clippers in like maybe six or seven games. I'll say six. Luca gonna give them like two games. Gonna get two wins. But um, yeah, I got the Clippers going up against the Nuggets. Clippers may win that in like maybe like six games, maybe maybe five. Then moving on against the Los Angeles Lakers, where the real action is, right? So I'm more of a fan of the Lake of the Clippers than the Lakers. So my biasness is going to say Clippers going to win that. In like six or seven, maybe seven games, maybe five. I don't know, man. Like, like I said, Lakers are so dependent on those guys and KD, not KD, but AD and Bron. Like that bench and his step up, and like I said, that defense on the wing from the LA is not is really non-existent. Rarely existent, so I got the Clippers going to the NBA Finals against the Milwaukee Bucks. And I'm getting the edge to the Clippers because, like I said, man, outside of Giannis, who's that next guy up that's going to give it, it, give it his all every single game? Not just this game, 
and then not really that game. Then the next game they come at, come with it. Then the next game is like, eh. Then the next game they come. I was like, who's going to be that guy that's going to be up there with Giannis and really just ready with all the, that's coming with all the smoke? You know what I'm saying? So I, th- I got the Clippers winning the championship in six games against the Milwaukee Bucks. So it's going to be an interesting playoffs overall. Like I said, man, I haven't really been watching lately, but um, I'm back on to it. Uh, I believe the first games are today, right? So um, I'll be in tune to that. Making my notes. Coming back on here. You know, when like certain series are over and I correctly, correctly predicted everything. You know? But um, I'm back. I'm back in the saddle. I miss making videos, and I got I got a couple of videos ready for you guys to uh, to upload. Um, I gotta record them first, but uh, so um, yeah, man, I got a couple of topics and ideas to throw at you guys. So um, yeah, man, sports talk with Kendrick is back. It's back back baby make sure you guys like share subscribe to the channel and uh oh yeah yes sir